Sutton is with Richard out in the open, which is a huge part of her journey this season. And professionally, she's in a position where she's like, okay, cool, now I'm working for Oliver. I'm in the department that I want to be in. Where do I go from here? Where do I see myself? And how do I get there? So I think those are the two big things that she sort of wrestles with this season. What I think is so interesting is that it's it, the way that we tell Sutton's story in terms of do I choose love or my career is so, it's so hard to pick a team. Like I support her choosing herself 100% and I think that's so powerful and important. But at the same time, I'm totally heartbroken for her that she has to give up, you know, a healthy, mutually loving, supportive relationship because I think that women deserve to have both. Mm -hmm. So it's really tricky to be like um, on one side or the other of the argument. I mean, not that it's an argument, but sort of just her position is it's so, I really feel like the pull. Um, and so I think what I love, love, love about season three is that we've seen in choosing to be with Richard openly, Sutton has essentially said, I believe in myself enough and I trust in my talent enough that I think I can be with you and do this. I think I can get re respect from people based on merit and I can prove myself. So that I think is so uh, amazing. Uh, great. So excited for her. It means so much to all of us. I think we make this show and we have these experiences with people who are fans of the show who will come up and not just say, I love the show, but they'll come up and say, I love the show because the show makes me feel like I can achieve what you, you girls are achieving on the show. The show makes me feel like I can go into work and ask my boss for more. I mean, there was an episode in the first season where Sutton, you know, goes into Oliver's office and says like, if you can't pay me this, then I want this. And I know several girls who have reached out to me saying, I went into my office and I basically recited that speech. Um, that to me is the most powerful thing of all because what we do wanna do is we want to empower people. And so to know that you are doing that on any capacity is is just the best thing. Well, personally, I grew up with um, friend, girlfriends who are, you know, my sisters, who have been supportive and loving and kind and encouraging to me through my whole life. So there's a lot of content out there that doesn't reflect relationships between women like that. And I think the truth is there's so much more of it than, than uh, media sometimes shows. And so I think it was really important for us to be like, not only, not only to just show a positive uh, relationship between women as an example, but because it is that, it is an example, and hopefully that there are you know, young women and men, whoever, who can see that and say, wow, I'm capable of that too. I'm capable of showing that much compassion or that much support to another girl. Um, but beyond that, just because it's it exists, it's true. And I think that beyond setting a good example, there are a lot of people who watch the show and feel like, oh, that's just like me and my best friend, you know? We have so many people who come up to us and they're like, I'm the cat and or I'm the Sutton or my best friend is so Jane. And it's like, so I think people see themselves in these girls. And I think that that, that is another really beautiful part of it too. Oh my gosh, how cool! Yeah, so that's not a question, it's just a thing. Oh, that's so lovely. Thanks for sharing that. Sure. Tell them I said thanks. I will. I will. <laughs> that's so great.